Well folks, it's D-Day on our Bondurant Cobra Coyote Swap Project. We're finally going to get the motor in the car. Follow along, we'll show you the couple of steps it takes to get it in, and then next time you see it, it's going to be running. Well, if you remember right, I told you going with the tubular K-member was a way to go with this Coyote Swap. But we're stuck on staying with the factory K-member that came in this Cobra. Well, it's fighting this because we can't drop the motor in from the top. The headers and the oil pan are all over everything. So what we're going to have to do is get the car up in the air a little bit, drop the K-member down so we can put the motor in. Now we're still going to put the motor in from the top. That way you can still do this in your driveway with some jacks, jack stands, and an engine hoist. Yeah, we're doing this on a lift, but it's easy to replicate at home. Before we got serious with dropping in the engine, we pulled out the steering shaft to free up some much needed room in the engine bay. Once the K-member was removed from the car, we lowered the car a little bit and slid the Coyote 5 liter engine into the engine bay. We then raised the car back up a bit and hung the K-member from the motor mounts using the motor mount nuts to hold it into place. Lifting the engine and K-member with the engine hoist, we squared the K-member in the car and tightened the retaining bolts. We then installed the steering rack and tightened up the motor mount nuts. And there you go, Coyote Motor in a Cobra. Next time you see us, we'll have this thing running and we'll have some dyno numbers for you too. So for all your Coyote Swap needs, check out LateModelRestoration.com.